So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you guys want to know how to install Shotcut Video Editor and how to use it. So stick around to this video and I'll show you how. Hey guys, welcome back. MME here. and Today I'm going to show you how to um, install Shotcut Video Editor and teach you how to use it. So this is the site we're going to be using and Shotcut is a free, um, you can download it for free video editor and it's really simple to use but it looks really professional. That's what I like but it's really simple to use. That's why I love it so much and this is the editor that I've been using um, for my recent videos. So um, today I'm going to show you how to use it and before we get to this video, um, drop a like down there and a comment telling me which is your favorite video editor and probably this can be your new newest favorite video editor so let's get to it so this is the link that I'm gonna be providing you guys down in the description right here and once you get here um, you have to download the 64-bit Windows installer so it's 7 Windows um, Windows 7 and up so right now I'm currently on Windows 10 and we have to install that so I think you already guys know the procedures of installing things um, so you just click it and you'll install it automatically Okay guys, so now that we're here, so this is the form that format that you're gonna see when you open um, Shotcut Video Editor, except for this thing. Um, you can, all these tricks and um, filters that you can add, it's really easy. So for the peak meter, I just press and this is the audio meter. You can actually extend it or make it smaller, but it's very customizable, that's why I like it. So once you're gonna add your um, video track, you go down here to timeline, hit this little three, four bars, I think. Hit audio track. And then you can do the same thing for the um, video track. So the audio track is anything and if, like if you want to do a voiceover or if you record it on a separate device. And it can be used for music too. So I, I basically use it for music mostly but um, you can use it however you want to. So now that we're here um, to add the video we're gonna go on go to open file and the cool thing about it is um, is that you can actually drag and drop so I think I'm going to just do the 4th of July thing that I haven't um, edited it yet for you guys but it's gonna be really cool for you Madden mobile players that sticked around for my channel because of this I'm, I'm not I'm still gonna make it uh, so let's just drag two right here and it's really convenient for me because I have a touch screen um, all in one um, computer so I can it's really easy for me to um, adjust everything I want to so let's get to it so we click here to open and I don't know if I said this before um, but it's really easy to use and I really like it because um, the only trouble I had was with the trimmer but I'm gonna show you how to use that right now so um, the trimmer is gonna be you're gonna have to click on one one video or another so let's go and pause this for a little while and the trimmer is going to be this little blue um blue tab right here so you can trim it however you want it you can make it shorter longer and so this is the bobby wagner i pulled it's really cool for you guys to see a sneak peek of this but um you can instead of starting all the way back here you're gonna start right here so i'm just gonna leave it right here and I think that's good. Once you have it wherever you want it, the audio, you can actually fix it from here. So this is um, the highest. And I usually keep it down here because it's going to spike up here and the audio is not going to be really nice. It's not going to be crisp. It's going to be all static. So once you got everything on you out, how you ever you want it, um, you just clicked and drag it over here. And what you want to do is drag it beside it. So you don't want to leave no space because it's just going to be black until it reaches the actual video. So you're going to leave it right here. Let's see. And boom, there we have it. So it looks, this is the actual um, video. This is with, I don't think this said it had sound, but it's okay either way. I'm just gonna turn off the sound. But if you don't want it this extended like I do, um, all you have to do is this, the minimize and maximize button. So it's gonna actually bring the clip down here. And this is why I like to have it for you guys that want it compact and organized, it's really cool. So one thing, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can actually make this um, larger however you want it. Um, very customizable, like I said before. And when, um, you can add anything you want basically so the playlist like I have it right here um, you can you can add it however you guys want it so now that we have that clip we go to the second clip right here click it twice to customize it and it's basically this no we click this one there we go 
and it's basically the same thing you can trim it however you want it however it feels fit for you and always keep it at that level if you guys want it but I'm going to show you how to edit um, music so it doesn't sound that loud so now that we have this click and drag we go up here beside each other and let's see and there we have it so we got two um, clips side beside each other and what's what you want to do is go to filter and this is where all the magic happens so this is basically the fade out fade in so you can fade in the audio fade out the audio fade in the video so if let's say I want to make it right here in the beginning let's see for this clip I have to click this clip there we go we have to click click the um, plus button and fade in video so then you have that little black icon and boom this that's how you fade in the video so this that's how you fade in the video I can actually and since we're on the same clip you can actually fade out the video to enter the next clip so right here so it's actually gonna fade out just like that and if you want to make it smooth on the second clip we're gonna double click and we're gonna put a fade in video just like that so when it transitions for the first clip to the second clip it's smooth so I know it's kind of laggy guys but it's actually not really laggy it's really smooth it just depends on um, since I'm recording everything is a little bit slower but everything should be good while you're not recording now that we have this um, so if you want to fade in the audio like I do, you just press fade in audio. But right now, I don't, I don't um, want to do anything like this. So let's see. Let's bring this back here. And if you want to add music, all we have to do is go to open file again and make sure this is on playlist. So um, for the music, let me close this. So we wanna go playlist, and for the music is basically like any video clip, but it's just, right now you're just gonna search audio. So let's see. So now that we're back right here, we're gonna go to music, and this is the music. This is the file I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna bring it down here. So we're gonna open, and let's see. Okay. So right now I'm not going to really put the music because I have the microphone on, but um, you can trim it however you want it. You can trim it right here and then trim it right here. And um, it's no video, that's why it's blank, but but you see how high this is? It's not really actually going to sound good because if you mess around with this with, for the music, you're also going to mess around with the video audio and you don't want that. So what you want to do is leave it there for your video audio and you're going to drag it down here to beside the audio you don't want to leave no gap like I said before with the video you're just treating it like a video but it's just mainly sound and you see how this is um, if you don't want it overpassing all you have to do is drag and let it fit let's see there we go now we fit so I know that uh, if you have the same problem like I did where the music is higher than um, your actual video I'm gonna give you a solution so we go back to filters we have the music selected you can see right here the file kick plus go to this little circle that's for the audio and what you want to do is put gain slash volume so um, you can actually do this with your videos too and I do it with both of them but I but I, I mainly do this with music. So as you go up, it gets higher. As you go down, it gets lower. So if you go two up, like I said before, it's gonna reach that zero decibel right here and it's just gonna be too loud. So as long as you're down here, because this is the background music, you're not gonna really hear it that much. I'm gonna put it around, uh, let's see. I usually leave it at, at 23. So it won't sound that really loud. Or sometimes I I, keep, I either keep it at 17 or at 23, just depends what kind of music it is. And it should be really good right now. So now that we have that, we're just going back to playlist. And if you want to add your outro, like I do with the subscribe thing, 
you go back pick any outro and um usually the outros already have music like mine does but i don't know you guys may be different you guys may have to add another um music track only um dedicated to the outro let's see i know it's a kind of slow guys but it's just because i'm really i'm just recording but now that you can see it's like really loud all you have to do it's not gonna sound good because it's you can't really mess around with this because you're gonna mess around with the whole video track so all you have to do is just bring it right here beside it uh, there we go I messed up so we want to bring it actually right here for some reason it's not letting me Not letting me. So I don't know why it's not letting me guys um, put this. But basically what you would want to do in this instance is just drag this all the way down. I don't know why it's not letting me. But like I said, if the volume is too high, all you have to do is click on it again. Go to filters and do the same thing you did for the... For the music so you're gonna gain volume and you put it down and this is just gonna affect the, the outro music so you see how it's not going that high no more it's just staying staying there there we go so this is pretty much how you edit a video and you can do much more guys if you want me to go more in depth please um, put that in the comments guys but this is pretty much how you're gonna um this is your setup i know it wasn't the best um explanatory video but i hope it helped you guys at least some and i will i will make more short videos of how to actually use um shortcut video editor but this is basically how you're gonna this is a video about how you're gonna install it and how you're gonna add your clips, trim it, and um, manipulate your um, audio. So this is pretty much it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And also um, share out this video, guys. It's gonna really help me um, making a new direction into my um, YouTube channel. So this is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. And like it says right here, put a like and comment and subscribe. Thank you, guys, and I hope your day was good.